Hey buddy, it's John with Plant Tech, and today we're going to be doing something quite unique with a little plugin called Q3D. Now, this is a 3D plugin for Construct 2, and it will cost you $30. I'm just going to put that up front that this plugin, one of the few in Construct 2, is going to cost you some money, and this one costs about 30 bucks. The link is down below if you want to look at it. There aren't a lot of videos on it or tutorials. And while I'm still wrapping my head around it, I was going to I was going to give you guys the user manual because there is apparently one out there and I'll link that down below so you guys can download it because it's pretty hard to find. And then I'm going to do some short uh, tutorials on this plugin and try to create a, a game using this plugin because a lot of people want Construct 2 to use to do 3D um, because it gives them a lot of you know behaviors and non-coding and everything so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm not gonna pr promise that it's gonna be super awesome but I'm gonna try to do my best to create the best tutorials that I can if you have any questions or requests post them down below and I'll see what I can do I'll play around with it and uh, try to put out some uh, tutorials for this little plugin all right so what I have right here is this is the model or the icon that represents the 3d model this is a light this is what we call the we're gonna the Q3D Master, that's basically um, allows us to render everything 3D. This is a, uh, what we call a 3D, Q3D Sprite. So think, basically think regular Sprite, but can be rendered in a 3D scene. So I'm going to run this layout, put it to full screen, and that's a drop ship. Now we can add a, diff it has a diffuse layer, but we can also add a um, specular normal map and all that type of stuff. And then it's also dynamic. Now I'm still learning about this, so I would actually like for the light to be uh, at least like one cube or two cubes. Uh, if we're talking like basically th these three bar things are, is one of the grid cubes. I would like this to be two or three cubes up, so I'm still playing around with it but it's actually pretty cool, especially if you're gonna do a top-down shooter. Um, and this makes it really easy, especially if you're gonna make something for a um, mobile or web type game. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull up a blank Construct 2 um, uh, sheet or whatever, and then we're going to make the um, actual game. But I actually wanna go over everything in this one first. So I just used a standard. Okay, so we're gonna go File, New, New Empty Project. Click that, boom. Um, also, when you buy the, I really wish there was a demo that at least let you import a 3D model um, or do something so you could you know, try it out. But after you buy it and there's gonna be two folders, one's gonna be behaviors, one's gonna be plugins. You're gonna go into your construct two, um, basically programs files, and then you're gonna look up, uh, there's gonna be behavior file and a plugin file for construct two. You're gonna drop the new uh, behaviors and plugins to an enable 3D, and I'll actually put up a separate video for that so you guys can see it. Today we're just gonna be doing the tutorial. Um, that will allow you to have all this stuff and it automatically updates. So you want to exit off any construct two and then reopen it up and it's going to pull it all up. Um, but basically what I have in this file uh, or the new behaviors or Q3D stuff is basically boning. That's for uh, skeletal animations, 3D light, the render or create and control 3D graphics. Do not create more than one. Uh, a Q3D model, a point um, that can represent something. Basically, you know, you can make a uh, collide with the point, and something can happen. A ray casting. This can test for collisions with geometry or whatever. Or, um, whatever. I haven't actually used this um, as of yet. And then the, we have the QD, uh, 3D sprite, and then the viewport 
for a split screen and easy control of viewport or 3D rendering. Um, and again, I haven't messed around with that one as of yet. So basically, the code in this is, is very, very simple. It's on start of layout, the Q3D model, set diffuse texture to, uh, actually we don't need uh, that one, sorry guys. Uh, so basically one uh, line of code on, on the model created, uh, set default map texture to one and play from beginning. When we play it, boom. So basically what I did was Q3D, a model created, model, um, I actually typed in texture. It says set, set texture animation to one. You want to say diffuse map done. And what this does is if we go over here and we click on the actual model is that is that we have told it, okay, we want to um, load up uh, frame animation one, but remember we have uh, always remember this guys when you're naming your animations it's going to be called diffuse map because it's going to pull the, okay so the animations diffuse map and then in diffuse map we're going to go for frame one so that's going to set the texture it's the way they do it it's it does the job so we're just going to do it that way so when it says okay set diffuse map that's uh the uh animation and then in the animation, it's going to be frame one. So that's basically um, how it's done. So when we run the layout, it pulls up the texture. And then I can uh, click and move this light because on the light, if I click on it, I enabled drag and drop. So I can have a dynamic light set up. So there we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this in um, another one. So I can just import, uh, not import everything, but I want to show you guys how it's done. So we're going to insert a new object. We're going to insert a floor. So it's going to be a Q3D sprite. Boom. And I'm going to stretch this over the floor. Okay, now I'm going to import uh, a texture. So I'm going to open, and this part may be grayed out. Um, let's see. Let's choose a basic tile. So that will do, exit, and boom, there we go. So what I wanna do is just size that down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a new object. It's gonna be a Q3D master. And this will be, uh, it actually won't render. This is just going to render the scene. Insert new object, uh, Q3D model, and this only imports uh, JavaScript models and OBJ models. So what we're going to do is go to uh, File, actually not that, um, we actually have to go to Files, so on Projects in the bottom, it's going to say Import File, and this will allow us to import stuff. Now this may be grayed out, but I'm going to type in .obj and it's going to pull up some stuff. Um, I have a Doom Marine um, that I pulled out of, I think, Doom 3, so I'm gonna use that. And then what I'm gonna also do is import 
dot o it's dot obj and this is going to be a drop ship Okay, so how do we actually get this to work? How do I get my 3D model onto here? Because if I run it now, oops, wrong scene. Um, we actually need to set this to be viewed through the windows. So in w.js, we're gonna run this, um, make it big screen. All you can see is wireframe. So what you actually wanna do is click on this and in the Uh, where is it? General properties. There we go. Um, bounding box and cloud box. This is just for us viewing it now, but you want to actually set those off and then you want to set this to be textured um, and then use model. You want to set that to be yes. And then on model file name, this is where we choose what we're going to be, what this um, item is. So it's going to be my OBJ and then I'm going to just change it to be drop ship, paste that dot obj. So when we run it, it's going to load up our 3D model. Now what I'm going to do is now texture it and then we'll work on it. Um, so it actually looks correct and everything. So at this point, it's a Q3D model. on created, create 3D model, um, set, set texture, and I think it's gonna be one, on uh, just one second. Okay, we have to just change that from default to rename that to one second. Oh, we have to click the model again and uh, I think it was diffuse map. Rename this to diffuse map. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in that, paste that, diffuse map. Okay. And this diffuse map, or remember, um, the icon, the reason why it was not showing in an icon in the event sheet was that we actually have nothing. So animation zero is nothing, so it's going to show nothing. So right now we're going to actually look up um, a texture we can apply to this. So once we have our diffuse map, okay, so it set it, that icon to the texture and diffuse map back and set it to frame as, uh, it's actually gonna be frame zero, not one. Done, run it. you can see, it is now textured. It's just facing weird now. But now what we have to do is rotate it. Model rotation, X, Y's. And this is kind of the weird part. You just have to play around with the rotation. We also have to add a light. So we're going to insert a new object. It has to be a Q3D light. Run it. And it's not drag and droppable.
this point you're just going to basically um, bling, playing around with it until you get it correct. Which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to cheat and show you guys the uh, right coordinate system. So I rotated mine on the X coordinate on 270. You may not have to, but it seems I have to. So if you run the layout, there we go. Now to get this to be drag and droppable, go to behaviors, add, drag and drop. X, run the layout. We now have a dynamic object, which is actually kind of cool. All right, guys, um, hopefully that explains some stuff. Uh, I know it probably wasn't the best tutorial out there. I'm going to see how you guys like this. I'm going to edit it. Um, I may end up redoing it. First time, I really like this plugin. I'm going to be doing some more where I actually import, you know, objects so we can do a top down, um, you know, shooter and then export it to like Windows, Android, all that type of stuff and to Newgrounds. Um, and show you guys how to do a little simple video game, some animated objects. So you take a uh, 3D door, you have it move and everything. Um, again, new to this, decided to do a whole bunch of tutorials for this. Hopefully you guys will like it. Sorry if the quality is not awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video.